Hey y'all, so we're going to address today the triangle sum theorem. If you can have this kind of at least in your head by the time you come to class tomorrow, you're going to be in better shape because there's a lot to handle here, and it'd be better if you have some quick thought on it. So the triangle sum theorem allows you to find any set of missing angles in a triangle. So the goal here is you write down your notes is to find missing angles in a triangle. In order to do that, you have to understand one key thing, that all triangles have 180 degrees. If you're not buying that, you're like, wait, you're just telling me that? Prove it? Okay, I will. The basic fundamental idea here is that in any kind of rectangle, right, there are four right angles. This guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. That's one, two, three, four right angles, all of which are 90 degrees times four gives us a total angle measurement of the entire rectangle of 360. Now, as we've talked about, a triangle is just half of a rectangle. We can draw any kind of line across it, and we can easily see that there is a 180 degrees. I don't know why it's not drawing very well, but it's not. Let's just assume that I can draw for a second. There you go. So if we split a rectangle in half, 360 divided by 2, Is going to be 180. And that's any rectangle becoming any triangle. Any triangle is going to be is going to be 180. So once we understand that, we can look at any triangle like this little scaling guy on the left here, and we can determine the missing angle T. How do we do that? Well, we know the entire thing is 180. So we set the whole thing equal to 180. Now the stuff we know. We know 27. We know 82. And we know angle. T. We can call it x if we really wanted to, by just labeling it right here as x. Now, why do we add? Because the three angles together are going to be the total of the triangle, which is 180. So, I can do a little bit of math. I'll just reset this. 180 equals, I'll combine my terms. I'll put x first, because I like to do that. 82 plus 27 is going to be 109. Now, using those basic algebraic principles we talked about in the last unit, I need to subtract 109 from both sides. And I should get 71 is the measurement of x, which looks, frankly, about right. It's less than 90, but not by a whole great deal. Cool. So x would be 71, and I would say degrees for that. Now, for a right triangle, change the game just a little bit, only because... Technically, I only see one number. I do know the entire triangle is 180. Other things I know. In a right triangle, this little box means 90 degrees. So I can go ahead and label that. And I know this one's going to be X. I can call it B if I want to, but there you go. Now my, uh, my angle I know. I know 90. I know 46. And I know X. Go ahead and combine those like terms. I'll leave 180 over here by itself. That's 136 plus x. I'll go ahead and just subtract that 136 from both sides. x is going to now be by itself. And that's going to give me 44 degrees for x. That's that missing angle. Isosceles are always the most challenging ones. And here's why you got to know about what an isosceles is. Isosceles means a triangle has two equal sides and two equal angles, like so. Angle B is going to have to be equal to angle C. Triangle sum theorem says that all the angles all together are going to equal 180. Cool. I know 39. On the surface, it looks like that's all I know, except I know this, angle B and angle C, are going to be the same. So that's plus X and another X. I'm going to go ahead and combine those like terms. I'm going to combine the two x's together. Make 2x plus 39. We shouldn't be scared. There's just a two-step equation rather than a one-step equation. I'll subtract 39 from both sides. 2x is still by itself. I need to do a little bit of mental borrowing. It's going to be 100. 41. Okay. 
if, I meant, if my math is right, which I believe it is. Yep. Now I'll just divide that by 2. Oh, come on now. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. X should equal 70.5 degrees. Sorry, that's kind of hard to see, but it's there. If you got to catch up, now's a good time to kind of take your time, pause, catch up, make sure this makes sense. Okay. If you're ready, let's go ahead and move on. Because, of course, the problems get more challenging. But the same triangle sum theorem still applies. All the angles together in this triangle are going to equal 180 degrees. Now the angles I know. I know 2x. I know 96. And I know x plus 12. I'll put this in parentheses to show that this is one angle, the two of those things combined. But we you know the addition kind of crosses over that parentheses line. I don't really got to do much with it. I'm going to go ahead and just combine those like terms. The x's obviously can be combined. And the positive 96 and the positive 12 can be combined. So that gives me a total of, let me keep my colors consistent, 2x plus x is 3x, 96 plus 12 should be 108, and I have 180 by itself. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve a two-step equation. Minus 108, minus 108, that gives me 72 equals 3x. Now I'll just go ahead and divide by 3. x should equal 24, if my math is right, which I believe it is. Yep, 24. Now, x would not be 24 degrees, just 24. If I plug 24 into right here, this angle would be 24 times 2, which should be 48 for the whole degrees for the angle. And this one, if I plug in 24 plus 12, should give me 36 degrees. The angle and x are often going to be different. You're looking for x, which is part of an angle. Key difference there. Last one. I know triangle sum theorem says my total should be 180. Got three angles. 2x plus 1. 5x plus 5, and this angle over here, which I know from that little box, has to be 90. Cool. I'll go ahead and start combining like terms. 2x plus 5x is 7x. Plus 1 plus 5 plus 90 should be 96. And then 180 stands alone. Now I go ahead and start subtracting here. A little bit of borrowing. That's going to be 84. Yep. Equals 7x. Now I can divide by 7. So x should equal 12. Yes, x is 12. Okay. So here x is 12 and x is 24. And again, to find those angles up here. If I really want to find the angles, if I need to for some reason, I take that 12 and I just plug it in. 2 times 12 is 24, plus 1. This whole thing should be 25 degrees. This whole thing here, I plug in 12. 12 times 5 is 60, plus 5 is 65 degrees. If I really needed to find the angles for whatever reason. That should be all you need for triangle sum theorem. Let's attack this in class. Give it a shot.